What up, kings, queens, prince, and princesses? Welcome to another day of vlogging. What up, guys? I'm about to start my day off with some oatmeal. It is currently 12 11. What? Because I looked on the stove. I don't know if that. Yep, 12 12. So. Got my oatmeal right here ready. Use the bowl for the first time. Pack of oatmeal, I mean raisins. I was telling my wife like eating healthy, like the stuff that you don't really look at as so good and sweet and stuff, you start looking at it as like a delectable. Like I didn't never look at oatmeal as like, oh, this gonna be my sweet for the day. But since I've been on this healthy diet, I look forward to eating oatmeal cause it's like it's sweet. But I have brought this out because I'm about to try the rice cakes for the first time. They're going to be my first time trying it. So I got the peanut butter. Mm. Why you try it without the peanut butter? Mmm. Should I? Let it go. It's not disgusting. It tastes like a healthy Rice Krispie treat, kind of. Show, show Dave what you eat. I'm going to try it with the peanut butter. I also got cinnamon kind. What are you eating? It's the rice cake. You heard me? It tastes like a healthy um Rice Krispie treat. Mm-hmm. It's way better with this peanut butter. I'm talking to you, both of y'all. The vlog and you. Way better with the peanut butter. Next time I'm gonna get Next time because this peanut butter thick in my mouth. Next time I'm gonna get the one that don't got the cinnamon. Cause the cinnamon and the peanut butter, I don't think it really go together. But it's I like it with the peanut butter. I don't think I can just sit here and eat it with nothing on it though. But with the peanut butter, I can eat this. This is going to be my new snack now. A lot of people eat this for dinner when they're trying to lose weight because they said cater to your sweet too. It's kind of sweet with the peanut butter. Well, I ain't get no apples. I ain't want that. I know I wasn't going to eat it. I'll probably eat a few apples and that's it. Don't ask me what kind of meal this is, it's just something I threw together. I just asked my wife, do shrimp go with chicken? She said they put it in like shrimp alfredo, but I'm not eating no pasta or no rice. So I'm gonna just have to eat it like that. I don't know, I may put one of these on it, either honey mustard or barbecue. Give it a little flavor. I should have put those shrimp in the apple. Man, I never made anything on the gas grill. I had to Google how to had to turn this on. But it tell you right there. Right there, it tell you. Mm -hmm. 
What up guys? I'm starting the morning up early. It is oh I forgot my mask. Oh I just go. I'm going to the grocery store because I'm taking those that oatmeal bat that I got 50% less sugar because I tasted it at first I thought it was the a plastic bowl that I was using making it taste like the plastic bowl but I got a um I mean a paper bowl and then I got a plastic bowl from Walmart and it still tastes the same as that way but not as strong but I need to take these back and just get the regular kind because I'm gonna get what I'm used to I ain't about to be eating no cardboard paper because that's exactly what it tastes like a cardboard box exactly I ain't lying to y'all, but it's like seven in the morning. I'm gonna hurry up and try to be in and out because I done forgot my mask. I need to at least keep it in my backpack. I got my backpack so I ain't have to carry the bag. So this is what I'm gonna be carrying my um, laptop and camera and stuff in. I got one camera already in, but walk with me, start the morning off with me, and just chill with me. I use this as my mask. But I came here, they had the Chipotle and I needed some dish detergent so I can wash the dishes. So that's what I'm getting. And I still got my self-made mask on. Man, it was cold in that store freezer. But I went back to return the oatmeal to get the other oatmeal and I didn't know I wasn't aware that they got a sign up that say no returns due to the coronavirus. So she was like, just go back there and get it. I'll do it for you this time. But she was nice about it. She let me switch it out. I would, because I when she told me that I was about to go and get a new one and just pay for it. But she seen me about to go back there and get it. So she was like, just bring it up here and I'll switch it out for you. You don't gotta pay for it. So I was like, that was nice. I almost just fell right there. And then I left the store then had to go back in there because I remember I went there to get switch out the oatmeal and get this detergent and then on the way getting the dish detergent I seen they had the honey chipotle barbecue so I grabbed that too now I'm headed back this remind me of walking home from middle school I back in Tampa I used to go to Wilson middle school and we used to walk home every single day it was a very few times we got picked up by somebody but I think we used to have to do like a good two to three mile, probably longer than that walk every single day. Sometimes we walk to school, but not often. We majority of the time walk home from school. It was a lot of, probably about 20, 30 people all walking home. I made it back and I clipped my mask onto the book bag so I don't forget it no more. What up y'all? I tried to make me some oatmeal and this crap tastes the exact same way so i'm thinking maybe these not microwavable bowls because it tastes just like plastic cardboard or something or maybe it could be they oatmeal i don't know what it is but i'm not eating no more oatmeal if i got the same bowls i probably get some new bowls and try it again i don't know it it has to be the bowls Cause at first I used these plastic bowls right here. Now I'm using these, but it tastes the exact same way, but not as strong as it did when I used the paper bowls. So I gotta try new bowls. I don't, I guess I gotta eat me your rice cake for breakfast cause I ain't got nothing else. That's all I have for breakfast. Cause that's my daily breakfast go-to right there. But I can't eat it. I don't know what it is. I want oatmeal too. I got taste for oatmeal. And I can't even eat it right now. Man. What up y'all? I just finished my breakfast. I ate two rice cakes with peanut butter on top. I see that the stuff right here. I got water bottles adding up and stuff. Right there, I'm about to get ready to clean up. Clean all the stuff up. Clean the bed up. And then the kitchen. I gotta clean all this stuff up. That's what I used yesterday, but I just got the dish detergent right there. This is what was here and that, but I didn't want to use that. So I got my own dish detergent, my own rag. I'm about to wash the dishes too. 
and get all this stuff cleaned up. I'll see y'all in a little bit after I clean this stuff up. Finish cleaning up. Let me open these blinds, son. I cleaned all the dishes. These the dishes that I washed. Clean this. Everything clean. I should put the rest of those waters inside the door. I'll do that later. And these my extra baths. I'm gonna carry these with me probably. Cause I can reuse that if they try to charge for baths. Yeah, I clean the bed, clean my desk right there. So I'm about to get ready to head to the mall because who I'm meeting today, they just had a baby. So we bought them something for the baby but I can't find it. I had my wife look there. I look here, it's not in my suitcase. I can't find the stuff. So I'm gonna probably ride to the mall, pick something up so I can take it to them because I'm supposed to be meeting them today. And I want to have something to bring to them when I get there. So I'm about to get ready to head to the mall. I was, I'll probably hold off taking a shower and then go pick the stuff up, come back, then take a shower, then get ready to head over the, so. That's my game plan for today. So I'm about to get ready to head out. All right, y'all. I done made it to the mall. It's bowling right there. I'm trying to head to Macy's. This was an entrance. What the end is say exit. So I'm going to walk around here because Macy's. As soon as you go up this hill to the left, that's where Macy's at. They say they open at 10. I seen people going because I know normally you can walk in the middle of the mall but not going to stores. It looked like I seen people out there in the middle. So I'm gonna go see if I can get in. It's a steep hill. This would be a good workout for a bike. I'm gonna have to find a different store to go into cause it's almost 10 now. And it say Macy's open at 11. But it say the mall open at 10. If I would've knew this, I would've went to the Glendale mall. Cause I wanted to go in that area because I thought this one opened up sooner than Glendale I found the entrance I when I went around it put me on the second floor so all I had to do is just come down those stairs over there and now I'm at the entrance right here I done came in to this mall and not only do Macy's only open at 11 the man the security guard said the whole mall open at 11 so uh, this is inside the mall. I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond, but they open up at 10. So I'm just walking around the hill until the other parts open. Man, I wish I would've knew that I wouldn't even came so early. What up, y'all? I finally finished my shopping. I went through. So I got my wife some stuff at H&M, and then I went to Burlington as well. I'll show y'all the stuff when I get back to the house. I'm waiting on my Uber right now says two minutes away i've been in that mall for they opened at 11 and it's 12 25 but i've been in here since like nine something almost 10 o'clock but i was able to go because burlington opened earlier than um 11 i think they opened at 10 so i walked all the way around the mall and went inside burlington and i'll show y'all what i got when i get back made it back to the house i'm gonna show y'all what all i got i'll show y'all my wife's stuff first i said i like this stuff i got her it's a shirt all right too. it's like a shirt dress it's a manhattan and then it's another shirt that go on the outside of it so it match it and you see, I got the lime green in there too. So this go on the outside, it's gonna go something like that. I said I really like this. It was on the mannequin, so I was like, I might as well get it. I asked her, did she like it? She said, yeah. I said, did you want it? She said, how much? And I just bought it. So she just wanted to know the price. As soon as I would've told her the price, she would've said, leave it. So I just got it. Then I got for this also. This was on sale. I like this shirt. It was on sale for $7.99. Then I got for this shirt. It's plain, but I really like it. I like the colors and I like the lines in it. So 
for that. Oh, she can kind of, I don't know. Because the mannequin had tennis shoes for that. I got this for her for Burlington. I really like these right there. And then they got like the tongue. I like that tongue. Y'all see that? So these are right there. I like them. Damn nice. These Converse was $30, but they had 50% off. So $15 for Converse. You can't beat that. And I got this for the baby. These gift bags, I needed this to put the gifts in. I like this middle one. I like that one, so I can use that one. So for starters, I got for this. We got her stuff already, but we can't find it. So I just went and got something else. So I have something to give them, to, give them today. And then when we do find it, we'll just put it up. Take the chance, so. First one here. Yeah. So that's the first gift right there. This the second right there. That's the shirt that go up under. Yeah. You got that right there. And then the pants right there. Oh, I got my wife this too. This come from Burlington. She be needing a lot of shirts. That too. And this one, I really like this one. Look, yes. And this is for the baby. Right there. Nike little booties. And then it's a blanket right here. Blanket. It comes with a, like a little toy. It feels good too. I was about to feel it on my face, but this is for the baby, so I ain't gonna do that. So that feels good. I'll put that on top like that. So that's the little gift basket right there. And that's pretty much all I got. I got me some pants, but the hanger side said one size. So I got them my size. And then when I purchased them, after I bought them, I looked at the tag. It said a way bigger size. So I had to return those. So I've got my wife's stuff and the baby stuff. I'm about to make me something to eat because I'm a little lunchy. I just continue this video on and make me some food. All right, y'all. I finished my lunch. It was real good, especially with this honey chipotle barbecue sauce. This is good. Oh, almost. But I'm about to clean this stuff up. Oh, I can't show that because my car right there. But. I'm about to take me a shower then get ready to head out because I should be going to meet somebody today. What up y'all? I had got bored in the house so I decided to take a scroll to the mall. I went to Glendale Galleria and that mall is nice and huge. I got there at like 6, 10 and they close at 7 so I'm going to have to go back another day to fully walk through the whole mall. but. Soon as I left there, I just went walking all down the street. This place is so nice. I like Glendale. Man, this place nice. There go some apartments right there. It's just a whole bunch of apartments. If y'all from Tampa, it's like a better version of Channel Side over here. And this is the area we plan on moving in. It's just apartments and stores over here. Everywhere. I'm going to go this way. This is the majority of them all that over here. 
this is what I was talking about with all the shops at. There's movie theaters down there and a whole bunch of stores right all down there. It's nice. I'm gonna go show y'all again when I walk back down. Some Marshalls. I think this is all a part of the mall. You got this side of the street is all stores and that side of the street is all stores. This is inside the clothes part of the mall. And then you come across here. I came through that store. Right there. And it's like, I really want to go across there and go try some of that in and out. But I ain't going enough because they support all that racist stuff that's going on. But I always said I wanted to go try that. But I'm not now. But I'm not anyway because I'm on a diet. But I probably would have went off the diet for at least one meal. One meal won't hurt. But I ain't going over there now. This place is nice, y'all. I'm going to go up here. Go to the Ross. Close. Hello, Thank you. So they closed. So I can't go in there. I'll walk down the stairs over here. It's a lot of gyms here. It's a gym inside of the mall. It's a huge gym in the mall. All of this is like the outside of the mall. And it's like apartments is connected to the mall. Cause all of that is it. Yeah, yeah. Log it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and my wife gonna have to come. Yeah, that's a Nike store right there. And the Amazon. Yeah, yeah. this is nice. All these shops. That right there, that's a place that I think I may go off my diet for one day or one meal and try that because they say, a lot of people say that's better than um, in and out I don't know how either one tastes, but I do want to taste Shake Shack though. They say they got some good burgers and fries. And I want to go to Raisin Cane's. They say they got some real good chicken strips with, um, it's a special sauce that they use and that sauce looks so good. So Shake Shack and Raisin Cane's is two places that I really want to try. Should I, should I break my diet for one meal to try that? Y'all let me know. Put it down in the comment section. It seemed like all the shops and stuff stopped right there. And it ain't really too much down that way. So I stopped, I called my walk in a day I'm about to, I called my Uber. I'm about to head back to the house. I know I for a fact I before I came on this little trip at Stravaganza. Oh, let me see if this him. Huh? Oh. 7P. Yeah. Yes. How are you there? Good. But what I was saying before I came on this little trip, I had already reached my walking goal. My phone is set to achieve 6,000 steps every single day. And I achieved that before I even came. I'm gonna see what I'm at now. I'm at 14,559 steps. It say I'm 242% over my goal. Uh, and, uh was a little cool but I'm headed back to the place right now all right y'all I made it back to the house that's gonna conclude the video or the vlog for today if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and always remember you are a king you are a queen you are a prince and you are a little bitty princess Bye. Peace. See y'all tomorrow.